Hi everyone, um, I hope everyone's having a really good weekend. So, um, as most of you guys know, if you follow me on Twitter, I was at a church, um, a church, I was at a wedding this morning and I went to church and I just got back, you know, to change to go to the, the night ceremony thing. And um, I was like, now that I'm ready, I feel like filming. And if you guys remember, I wore this to another um, wedding for, for the church um, period. And it's like this long summer... Do you think if I stand on this chair, I'm going to fall like in my other video? Do you guys remember I fell? How embarrassing. But hold on, let me see. It's such a bad idea. Ah! But basically, it's like that. So, um, the actual dress is like that, but this thing covers it. Oh my lord, I'm going to die. Bad idea. And my hair's in a bun. But, um, yeah, I got it done at the hairdressers because um, I didn't have that much time to do it myself. But as most of you guys know, I love putting my hair in a bun and so yeah, something different. Well, I'm out of breath and I'm wearing like these, um, is this an outfit of the day or a shoe tag video? <laughs> anyway, so I'm wearing this like um, orangey, circly, um, long gold earrings with like um, just a very simple um, two gold rings and a bunch of bangles. I think I'm going to take these off because they're going to make noise. Where do I put these? Lord. Okay. So I have the questions here because I'm such a loser, I had to print them out because my phone internet's not working um, except Twitter and Facebook. But yeah, so um, I'm going to go through a whole bunch of like, um, I guess, what is this tag? It's like this shoe obsession, shoeaholic tag. Um, I'm not sure who made it, but yeah, I found it interesting. So I was like, I'll do it, I'll do one. And I felt like doing a tag, so I tweeted about it and um, yeah, I'm going to do this one. So okay, the first question is heels or flats? Honestly, um, I really don't wear flats unless I'm running or um running dancing or if, if i'm at work obviously and um i'm not gonna wear i'm not gonna go to work with like 50 inch heels but um but yeah so basically but every time in between like if, if i'm not wearing heels heels obviously i don't go shopping in pumps or stilettos or anything like that but if i'm not wearing heels i i truly am wearing wedges um and i'm really short so i just feel like i kind of I, I'm allowed, I don't know, I'm allowed, because it's like my excuse, where if everyone's like, Leon, why are you wearing heels? Listen, I'm 5 foot 2, am I 5 foot 2 or 5 foot 1? I'm pretty sure I'm, f oh my gosh, I forgot, because we use centimeters, I'm 158 centimeters. Oh my gosh, or was that 156? I honestly can't remember. It's either 156 or 158 centimeters, so I don't know if that's 5 1 or 5 2. Right, anyway, yeah, so definitely um, heels. And the second question is um what what are your to go to shoes okay so i bought a whole bunch of shoes here i would say um if you were to pick just like obviously if i'm working as i said or whatever it will be flats but if i had to pick heels to wear with anything there would obviously probably be nude pumps um actually i want to show that in another question so there'll probably be these black pumps um to go to you know they match everything they're simple they're cute they're sexy they're stylish they're chic and I've said, um, yeah, so probably something like this. Um, and I, as you guys know, if I get obsessed with something, I literally get obsessed with it 110%. I put my whole heart getting obsessed with that thing. And currently, you guys know, blazers are my thing and pumps. So I, I, think, I've, I think I've covered every color in pumps. I'm obsessed. Like, it's not normal. But, um, so yeah, probably black pumps. What, what am I? Stop, Liam. Sorry. Um, okay, so... What's your favorite shoe trend at the moment? As I said, pumps. But I'm really into... You know how you have the whole color blocking... Um, outfits. I'm into color blocking shoes, if that makes sense. I'm oh, sorry, I lost my phone. But basically, shoes that are, are like, um, they're like a whole bunch of different colors. Now, this is like, I don't know, it's not that much of a good example, but um, like, you know what I mean? Like a whole, not kind of, I don't know, something like this I like as well. So you can maybe wear pink shoes and like blue blazer and like um, black pants or leather pants or jeans or whatever. Not that I really wear jeans, but do you know what I mean? Like color blocking shoes that you can kind of coordinate, like random colors. I'm really into that. So that's like my, I guess, shoe trend at the moment. And always pumps. Um, I can't ever. I, I don't. The last time I wore kitten heels, which I considered those tiny heels. I don't know. I was 10, 11. I can't. I can't do that. No, it's not my thing. <laughs> but um, what's your least favorite shoe trend? Well, it's not a trend anymore. But back in the day, I guess 90s, early 2000s. Um, kitten heels, mm-mm, ah, I wore them, I was a victim, but no, that's yuck, um, and oh my god, what are those things, those Crocs, my dad wears Crocs, um, inside the house, thank god, I don't know, they're just not my, I mean, go all for it if you like it, but no, I, I can't do, I can't do Crocs, 
Um, oh my god, I sound so mean. But you know what? For those that, for those of you that like rocks, you do what you love. Do what you love. Go 100%. Do what you love. That's all. That's all that matters. If, as long as you're happy, that's it. <laughs> um, what's your most expensive shoe? Um, shoes in Australia are generally expensive. Like, if you want to buy a good pair of shoes, I would say the minimum is $120, $150. Um, but I, I think my most expensive would probably be my ballet um, points. You know, people that do ballet. I did ballet um, for five years and I was on points. Was I choking? So I was on points. So I would, I think those were expensive. I'm not sure exactly how much they were, but I think they were expensive th at the time. But right now, um, I don't really, why would I spend that much on a shoe? I feel like you can find, um, I'm going to spend like $1,000 on shoes. You can find the same thing that's 120 150 very easily. But I, I think the most I've spent on shoes, like generally speaking, normal shoes, not ballet shoes or dance shoes, would probably be... Um, well, not probably 140 no I think I'll say 120 121 yeah 120 ish yeah so I, I'm a good girl when it comes like I, I'm, I'm that's really good for those of you that don't live overseas I know there's just for like 30 and I died I was like oh my gosh I wish we had this in Australia but it's not it, it is really expensive if you want to get a good pair of shoes I guess um what's your most wanted pair wanted as in what I want most um probably Louboutins um, like a nude, like a nude color Louboutin. Um, yeah, definitely one day. <laughs> no, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I wouldn't mind those. Not bad, not bad. Um, pick a shoe and share a story. Oh no, sorry. What's your most embarrassing shoe story? Um, you know what? I've been good. Like, I don't have a story that I was kind of wearing a shoe and at a wedding or at a party or whatever or club and then I kind of fell or broke. Thank God touch wood that hasn't happened to me before. My most embarrassing, I don't know, is um oh my god with these shoes um they I bought them in America when I was in um California and they were fine on me. But as soon as I got here I think because of the air or the I don't know what it was but it and it's leather so it kind of shrunk and um, it wouldn't fit me, so I guess, I don't know if that's embarrassing, like it was just weird, like, it wouldn't fit me, it literally would not fit me. Um, I felt like it was like two sizes too small. And um, my sister, oh my gosh, she's so cute, she put um, water in um, a, like in sandwich bags and she put it in, inside the shoe and she placed the shoe in the freezer. And that completely made the shoe big for me. How weird is that? I, I would never think that, but that little girl is quite smart. So I guess that's weird. I mean, it's not embarrassing. It's just a weird story. Pick a shoe and share a story. Okay, so I think I've mentioned this in like a video two years ago, which I'll link below. Um, what was it? I don't even know what it was called. It was, I think, a tag. Um, but these shoes I originally bought, um, they're t Tony Bianco shoes from Wanted. I originally bought these shoes um, for 120, as I've said before. But just for engagement, I had, I, I, I didn't even like them. I was like, who's going to wear? I mean, it's too square for me. You guys, this is my, my most worn shoe. When I tell you guys I can run a marathon, just watch me. I swear to God I can probably run a marathon in these. I'm not even joking. Um, they're so comfortable because it has a platform. Amazingly comfortable. I'm obsessed with these shoes. Um, so I guess that's such a shoe story with me. I love them. And people think, <laughs> like, I, I'm not, not that people have Tom, but I feel like people will think that I have no other shoe because I'm obsessed with these. But they're just so comfortable. Like, so comfortable. Um, how many pairs of shoes do you own? Too many. Um, I, I actually gave a few away at Samus and Depot, like a charity we have over here in Sydney um, and, and the whole of Australia, I'm pretty sure. And, um, you know, I gave away, I think, five, six pairs, but I think I'll insert um, my shoe cupboard photo right now. So, yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah. I have a problem, clearly. I, I'm just obsessed. Um, no, because I feel like that can... I don't know. Jewelry is... Yeah, but when I talk about jewelry, like, I'm obsessed with jewelry as well, but it's party jewelry. I don't... It doesn't need to be $500 worth of diamonds or whatever. But shoes are something that I just... They just completely can change an outfit. I'm in love. I'm in love. Like, people are in love with chocolate. People are in love with diamonds. I'm in love with shoes. It's, it's not... I'm, I'm saying it. It's a problem. I'm not, it's not something that I'm proud of. It's a big problem. First time you wore heels. Well, the first time I wore heels, I would probably say 
heels like i wore kitten heels like those tiny tiny heels that i yuck i hate right now was probably when i was 10 11 at a, probably like my uncle's wedding i would say but um heels heels pumps 14 15 yeah so i kind of took my time yeah 14 15 i'll say like actual pumps um yeah 14 15 do you spend on shoes as i said i don't know i feel like if I can find something that looks so similar to a $500 pair of shoes or a $1,000 pair of shoes, why not? You know what I mean? Um, but the most oh, I guess I will spend would probably be like $150, $140, as I said before. Nothing over. And if it, it has to be like, oh my gosh, I'm dying for it if it's $150. Normally, um, yeah, for a good pair of shoes in Australia, they are $120. Um, so around that mark. Um, but I have bought shoes that are... No, that's a lie. No, yeah, definitely $120. I was going to say $90. No, I don't think I have... Because, you know, you have to, if you're spending money on it, you want it to last for years like these ones. And, um, yeah, I'll probably say 100, 120. Your favorite places to buy shoes? Over here, definitely Tony Bianco. I'm a big fan of Tony Bianco. Um, so, Wanted. Wanted, where else do I go? Novo's okay. Um, if you guys live in Australia, you know what I'm talking about. Novo, um, that's not bad. Like, these are from Novo. Um, so that's pretty good as well, but when it comes to quality, I would definitely say if you go shop at the more expensive places They, they are kind of worth it more because they do last for a long time just off experience. So Wanted will probably be my favorite place um, Yeah, do you have a pair of shoes you, you regret purchasing? Okay, as you guys know um, <laughs> Do you guys remember these shoes? This is what I call a stripper shoe. These shoes. I love I adore them 100% very sexy very stripper but very sexy but they're so uncomfortable. I have to wear like five band-aids with it. I have to, in my head, be like, Lillian, don't fall. Don't embarrass yourself. If I'm at a wedding or wherever I am, I'm just like, Lillian, just walk normally. Pretend you're, pretend everyone's watching. You have to walk normally. You can't fall down. And it's just, it's just too much pressure. I can't. I, this kind of, I don't know if I regret it because I, um, oh God. I don't know if I regret it because I still, I, I, they just look beautiful. It comes to, um, it looks good. I would definitely, I wouldn't regret it. But I mean, when it comes to pain, definitely a zero. Zero. Last question. Show your favorite pair of shoes. Right now, um, I would probably have to say this because as, as I said, I'm in the whole color blocking thing. I would have to say these. But like an old favorite, like a, you know how you have like a recent song that you're obsessed with, then you have like a 90s song like, and I will always love you. Okay, so the, these are my, these are my recent obsession right now. But my always, all time obsession that I'm not going to ever forget are these shoes probably, which I'm in love with. But yeah, I guess that concludes my, um shoe story oh my god and i wanted to mention you guys oh my god where's it hold on one second really random but while i'm filming a video i really want to share you guys um with i'll uh, share you guys i really want to talk to you guys about um my latest obsession it's not a shoe um it's actually a book you guys know i'm obsessed with reading books um as you can tell behind me it's mainly um you know style fashion love kind of novels um but the book by Steve Jobs, if you guys haven't read it, I'm not even kidding you when I say this. I've never actually, I don't think, recommended a book to this extent except Emily Giffen's, um, what was it called? Heart of the Matter, which I was in love with and I finished that in a few hours. But this book, I'm not a really big fan of when it comes to technology and, you know, things like that. You know, I'm more into, like, love and romance novels and things like that. But when I, I read somewhere, I was actually reading a newspaper and they, and they told me, um, they told me personally, you know, they were, it, it was written in the, in the paper that if you own anything of Apple, anything at all, it can be an iPod, it can be an iPod Touch, it can be an iPhone, it can be a MacBook, it can be a Mac desktop computer, whatever it is, um, you should read this book. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure it won't be a bad book, but when it comes to technology, as I said, I'm a really big fan. And um, I was shopping the other day and I literally came across um, the Steve Jobs book and I was like, you know what, I'll give it a try. What do I have to lose? Let me show you guys where I'm up to. And this is in a, I think, not, I don't think it's been a week, if I'm not mistaken. I've read that much, so there's that much left. And whenever I have five minutes, one minute, two, three minutes, I will literally read the book. 
of any time to spell be inside this book it's such a good book so inspiring um you know obviously i knew a bit about steve jobs but nothing too in depth when i read this book it was just like i'm not going to spoil anything for you guys but it was so inspiring um just where he came from and apparently he wasn't that much of a nice guy but he just and the reason because of that was is that because he was just so um he knew exactly when he wanted he was so precise and he was controlling in that aspect that he had a vision in, in his head and he just wanted that to be in basically make that into reality 100% and I so admire him so much for that and um, no he was definitely such an inspiration and but the weird thing is I don't know to call, tell me call me weird or tell me that I'm weird but um since I've been reading this book for some weird reason I've been getting nightmares about Apple and how I'm the CEO of Apple and I'm just stressed I don't know why let me know if you if you guys have read this let me know what you think and let me know if that happens to you or am I just crazy? I don't know. But this is such an inspiring book. Um, and that's him at his early stages. Um, yeah, so it's such an inspiring book. And um, it's really thick, but it's so worth it. And I got it for $25 at Big W for those of you that live in Australia. But I'm not sure. Um, I'm sure you guys can find it at any good bookstores. But yeah, I just thought I'd share that because he's such an inspiration. And everyone should give it a try. So if you're into books, even minimum extent, I definitely recommend you reading this book because it's so worth it and yeah so that concludes my tag and i'm talking like i don't have a wedding to go to what is wrong with me um and i'm so calm anyway so i have to i better go because i'm gonna be late i have to change what i'm wearing as well but yeah so that was my shoe tag and my mini book review but i hope you guys like this video let me know if you've read this um steve jobs book or what you think of it um yeah and let me know if you've had numbers as well or it's just me and let me know your favorite shoe of uh, shoes and Comment below, put it as a video response. I love watching your videos. And thank you so much for everything. I'll be answering my um, Ask Me Anything, Ask Me Questions video soon. So I'll put the, that video below too, too so you guys can continue asking me wonderful questions. But thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful weekend. Bye, guys.